Good morning. Today we want to see the book of Hosea, chapter 4. Hosea chapter 4 from verse 1 to 9. I will read. Hosea chapter 4 from verse 1 to 9. I will read. Hear the word of the Lord, you Israelites, because the Lord has a charge to bring against you who live in the land. There is no faithfulness, no love, no acknowledgement of God in the land. There is only cursing, lying, and murder, stealing, and adultery. They break all bounds, and bloodshed Bloodshed follows bloodshed. Because of this, the land mourns, and all who live in it waste away. The beasts of the the field and the birds of the air and the fish of the sea are dying. But let no man bring a charge, let no man accuse another, for your people are like those who bring charges against a priest. You, you stumble day and night, and the prophets stumble with you. So I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected my knowledge, I also reject you as my priests. Because you have ignored the law of your God, I also will ignore your children. The more the priests increased, the more they sinned against me. They exchanged their glory for something disgraceful. They feed on the sins of my people and release their wickedness. And it will be like people, like priests. I will punish both of them for their wage and repay them for their deeds. Amen. This is the prophecy by the prophet Hosea toward the people of Israel. At this time, then, the Israelites, they were really simple. They were supposed to live as the people of God, but then they were not really living as the people of God. But then their, their life was so simple. That's why God sent the prophets to warn the Israelites, to warn the people of God. Because yeah, they were so simple. Instead of listening to God, then uh, they were really worshiping the idols, they were committing sins. That's how they were really ugly before God. And then, but God wanted to change their life. And then that's why God sent the prophets to the Israelites. And then God wanted to try to convert them. Recover their faith, recover their faithfulness, righteousness. But then they didn't listen to the prophets. They didn't want to listen to the word of God. They didn't want to repent from their sinful life. That's why God destroyed, God punished the Israelites. That is the history. The Israelites, they were really destroyed by Babylon and Assyria. And they were really destroyed. They were really suffering in their sins. But later, <coughs> God recovered their faith. And then the Israelites, they repented in the, in the captive at Babylon, in Babylon. And then 
they started newly in God. But later they, they got corrupted again. But anyway, they repented after they were punished by God. But here we can find that then yeah, the will, the God's, yeah, God was punishing the His people. Why? Because they were very sinful. Huh? Very sinful. They got very sinful. Because of their sins, then even we can find that then the the beasts, uh, the natures in the world, first three, because of the because of this, the land mounds, and all who live in waste, all who live in it waste away. The beasts of the field and the birds of the air and the fish of the sea are dying. Because of the sins of the people then, even the nations, they are growing. Huh? Because of the sins then, that's why the world is so painful. The lives in the world are so painful. Because of our sins, sinful life. And then we are hurting each other. Huh? Because of our sins and violence, selfishness, dirty life. That's why many people are suffering. Because of our sins, hurting each other, killing each other. So the life of sins, it looks to be like joyful, with the pleasurable, with our sinful life. But then it gives us more, more pains. We can be more painful. The, life, the, the lives in the world are more painful hmm? because of our sins. Hmm? From here, what can we find? The reason why God is trying, God is guiding us to live, obeying God. Why does God want us to want us to live? Obeying God, following His guidance? Huh? Is it only for God so that we can be living like a robot <laughs> under God? <laughs> huh? or, or does God want us to live as a slave of God? Yeah, it's not right. God, God wants us to live with joy, true joy, huh? in this world. Joy, joy with love, joy with the truth, joy with the righteousness. As we live with love, then we can, we can live with the true joy in God. As we live with love. Do you think that then if you live with hatred, if you live with selfishness, if you live with violence, then do you think that then you will be happy? <laughs> Man, we cannot be happy. But when we live with love, serving each other, when we live for others, when we live for the kingdom of God, then the true joy can come to our life. We can live enjoying the true joy for our life. As we follow the truth, the truth can set us free. The truth can give us the true joy. But if we live following the light, huh? wickedness, godlessness, then our life can be full of pains, confusion, darkness. The darkness will control our life.
earth, the will of God. God wants us to live with true joy, following the truth. So then this world, God wants to recover even this world. God wants to recover our life, save our life. Even God wants to recover this simple world, corrupted world, dirty world. We want to know this great will of God for this world. Thy kingdom come on in this earth as, as it is done in heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as it is in heaven. The work for the kingdom of God, why should we work for the kingdom of God? This is, this is the reason, the purpose. We need to let the will of God be fulfilled in this world. In heaven it's already fulfilled, but we need to leave. we need to let the will of God be fulfilled in this world. We need to recover this simple world which was controlled, which is being controlled by the Satan, evil spirits, darkness. But we need to recover. God wants to recover this simple world. God wants to bring the new light to this world. This is the great will of God for this world. You want to know this. So here, chapter 4 is talking about this one. Why are you <laughs> so simple? Why did you get so simple? It's, it talks about it. Not just the people became sinful, but even the priests, they became sinful. That's why the world became more sinful and more sinful. So, yeah, we need to recover from the church first. The priests, they need to recover their faith first. And then they can also recover the people, the sinners. They can also save the sinners also. So we can look at, hear the, from verse 1, hear the word of the Lord, you Israelites, because the Lord has a charge to bring against you who live in the land. There is no faithfulness, yeah, there is no faithfulness in the world. The world is so sinful, unfaithful. There is no faithfulness, no love. No, no acknowledgement of God in the land. There is only cursing, lying, and murder, stealing, and adultery. Those are overflowing in the world, the sins, ugly sins. They break all bounds and bloodshed follows bloodshed, yeah, killing each other. Because of this, because of this, the land mourns, and all who live in it waste away. The beasts of the, of the field and the birds of the air and the fish of the sea are dying. Because of the sins of the world, then may, even the animals, the beasts, birds, fish, they are wasting away. They are growing, they are dying. Uh, the world became so ugly, so miserable. Verse, verse 4, But let no man bring a charge, let no man accuse another, for your people are like those who bring charges against a priest. Uh, don't charge against each other. Ah, because of you, then this world became like this. Because of you, then ah, my life became so miserable. Don't charge like this against each other. Why? You stumble, verse 5, you stumble day and night, and the priests stumble with you. So I will destroy your I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. 
Yeah. You stumble the normal people, they, they commit sins day and night. And then the, the other problem is the priests. Uh, the servants of God, even they commit sin the same way. Uh, that's why the world became more simple and more simple. So I will destroy your mother. Who is the mother? Maybe the leaders who are supposed to live, leading the people to God. But then, even the mothers of your people, huh? they, are, they, are corrupt, they became corrupted. That's why the world became more simple and more simple, because nobody can guide the people well according to God, God's will. Nobody would guide the people righteously to the right way. That's why the world became more simple. And then the people, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Yeah. They don't, if they don't know God, if they don't know the truth, then many people are dying in their sins. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priest. Because you reject, rejected me, I will also reject you. Because you have ignored the law of your God, I will also ignore your children. Because you ignored my word, then even I will ignore your children. Do you remember the story of King Saul? God deserted King Saul. But then did God want to desert King Saul first? King Saul deserted God first two times. King Saul reject, rejected God's words two times. Disobeyed God two times. That's why God has to, has to choose another king for the Israelites. You deserted God first. That's why God deserted you. The same people in the world. They don't, they don't really believe in God. That's why God cannot really bless, bless them. They don't really worship God. Then how would God bless them? God loves them. God loves, God loves the people in the world. But then God is waiting for them. But then if they don't really return to God, if they don't really come back to God, repenting their sins, then how would God bless them, bless us? They rejected, you rejected God, that's why God rejected you. You didn't want to listen to God, you didn't want to obey God. How would God then accept you in heaven? Please, listen to the word of, please come to me. Open your heart, listen to me, and then you will live and believe in my love for you. Huh? I love you. Huh? I sent my only son to this world, and then Jesus Christ, Jesus died for, your, for all your sins. Please believe in this. Please look at this cross. Huh? This is showing the great love of God for this world. The Son of God died for us. The Son of God died for us. God wants to recover us. Please believe in this. It's not difficult. Would God ask you all your money? <laughs> it's not right. But God only wants to see your faith. And then but God already showed His great love to this world, to your life. So only you only need to believe in this. Can't you do that? You only need to believe in this. 
you, you ignored God, you rejected God, that's why God has to reject you. God could not have any other option. But if you accept God again, if you come back to God, then wouldn't God embrace you? God would embrace you like the father of the prodigal son. Luke chapter 15. The father of the prodigal son, he was waiting for his son, ugly son. Even though his ugly son was a very bad guy, but the father of the prodigal son, he had the compassion, the great compassion on his son. Then the father was waiting for his son outside of the house with bare, bare feet. This is showing the great love of God for this world. Why we are still sinners? The Son of God died for us. Why we are still sinners? Why we are doing the great sins? But Jesus died. Jesus died on the cross. So you want to believe in this love of God for our life. We want to recover our life in God. Verse 7, the more the priests increased, the more they sinned against me. You know, <laughs> irony, the more the priests the more the priests increased, the more they commit sin. It means the priests, they are not the true priests. Huh? If the priests, the priests are increasing, then the sins should be decreased, right? But then as the, as the, as the priests are increasing, then the sins are also increasing. It, it's a big problem. As the pastors are increasing, then the world becomes more sinful. Huh? That is very strange. That is very ugly. We should recover this. We should change this. They exchanged their glory for something disgraceful. Yeah. Verse 8. They feed on the sins of my people and relish their wickedness. Yeah, they live, live on <laughs> the sins of the people. The people, normal people, they commit sin. Daytime, the sin. The priest, they commit sin nighttime. Then they live on the priests, the mothers of the people, they live on the people, the sins of the people. Huh? It can be very serious. Verse 9, and it will be like people, like priests, like people, like priests. Huh? They, they become the same. I will punish both of them for their ways and Repay them for their deeds. Yeah, I will pay, I will punish both of them. It can be very serious. That's why we need to start to recover the church first. Huh? We need to recover the lost Israel first. And then we can also, we need to also try to recover this sinful world. So at, at this time, we want to think about the great will of God for this world. The world is very sinful. And then the, the issue, the great issue is when the priests, if the priests are also committing sins, when the when the people when the leaders when the Christian leaders are when the churches are corrupted, 
When the churches are corrupted, then it can be very serious. Uh. So, at this time, we want to realize that how we are sinful before God, but then as we repent before God, as we come back to God, then God will accept us again. Okay? But then, firstly, we need to remove, we need to repent from all our sins. We need to be washed away with our sins, from our sinful life. So, we need to believe it. We need to believe in Jesus Christ's sacrifice on the cross. God loves us. Ah, Jesus died, the Son of God died on the cross for my sins. We only need to look at this cross, believe that, and believe that ah, Jesus died for all my sins. And then all our sins will be washed away. And then God will accept us. Huh? Isn't, God, isn't this great? Yeah, this is great love of God. This is showing the great love of God. So from today, instead of rejecting the God's calling, God's voice, we want to accept, we want to listen to Him, we want to believe in His love for our life, for our life. Oh, please, we, we need to believe Him. And then we need to live according to God's will. And then our life can be different. Even this world, the simple world, can be changed according to His will. So as we look at the other history among the Israelites, but we don't want to repeat this same history, but then as we believe in God's love, the God's great love of God for our life, through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And then we want to be recovered by God. And then even this simple world, ugly world, can be recovered through our life of faith. So I hope that this great, beautiful history can start again through our life, life of faith. So thank you. We want to end here. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for allowing us this time to meditate your word. The Israelites, as they were, got sinful, and they, even the, the priests, when they get, got sinful, then the world became sinful and sinful, more sinful and more sinful, more ugly and more ugly before God's eyes. So as the people rejected God, then God could not do anything for the Israelites. But then as you sent your one and only son to this world, and then you showed your great love for our sinful life, then we want to believe in this love of God, looking at the cross, looking at the sacrifice of the Son of God on the cross. So that as we believe in this, that Jesus died for all our sins, then we want to be washed away from all our sins, and then we want to start the new life in God from today. And then as we come back to God, instead of rejecting the God's word, but as we listen to your word, as we repent before you, and then as we really accept your great love for our life, then we want to be recovered. And then, through our life of faith, this world, I pray that this world can be recovered beautifully before your eyes. So please be with us, please guide each one of us, so then we want to really experience, recognize your great love for our life, and then we can come before you every day, repenting for our sins, believing in your great love for our, for our life, and then through our life of faith, your great will will be done. 
in this world and be with heaven. So please be with us, guide each one of us, then uh, help us to follow your will for today's life. So thank you for all your grace through this time. Then I pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you all.